So this you really have to see to believe this. This is just out of this world a uh, bizarre. Tucker Carlson, the Fox News propagandist, has been promoting a forthcoming then forthcoming special on masculinity and testosterone that is going to, I guess, shed light on the crisis of masculinity that Tucker says exists and uh, talk about the issues with decreased testosterone in men, which we will get to in a moment. And it's all really weird. And one of the things that many people noticed about the uh, promo for the thing was that it's, quote, homoerotic. Now, again, like I don't I, to say it's to say something is homoerotic pejoratively is kind of homophobic. And I don't think that's what the commentaries were here. It's pointing out this is all about restoring men in the image that Tucker Carlson and other right wingers see men as being expected to hold. And yet the promo seemed much more in line, maybe with I, I don't know, with with gay men. I, it's it's not even really clear, like exactly what the commentary was, but I'm going to play the promo for you. And it is certainly strange. It doesn't exactly seem like the prototypical alpha male idea of Tucker's audience. So take a look at this to start with. So there's like a there was like a naked guy with like a light on his testicles. And then now there's now there's like half naked guys exercising. Once a society collapses, then you're in hard times. Well, hard iron sharpens iron, as they say. And those hard times inevitably produce men who are tough, men who are resourceful, men who are strong enough to survive. And then they go on to reestablish order. And so the cycle begins again. <laughs> the end of men is the is the name of it. And it all uh, if I told if, if you told me, David, check out this satire of a Fox News special about masculinity and you showed me that I'd go, wow, that's a really funny satire, but it's real. So the special has aired and there was a, a fitness expert brought on to explain how to raise testosterone levels in men. And the topic comes up of testicle tanning, tanning your testicles. You saw in the clip there, um, if you want to optimize and take it uh, to another level, expose yourself to red light therapy. Yes. Um, and the juve um, that we were using in the documentary, there's a massive amount Which of is testicle tanning. It's testicle tanning, but it's also full body uh, red light therapy, uh -huh. which has massive amount of benefits. And there's so much data out there um, that isn't being picked up on or covered. So obviously half the viewers right now are like, what? That's testicle tanning? That's crazy. But my view is, OK, testosterone levels like crash and nobody says anything about it. That's crazy. So why is it crazy to seek solutions? It's not crazy to seek solutions. And I think um, I was recently exposed to a term called bromeopathy. And I think there's a lot of people out there right now that um, are don't trust the mainstream information. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't call it bromeopathy. I think what he's looking for is bromeopathy, like homeopathy. Either way, it's, it's not very funny. Now, to be clear, red light therapy for testosterone is being studied and there are reports saying it might do something or it might not. But this isn't even a doctor. This is a guy branded a fitness professional. And the entire thing is so bizarre. And they always bring in this undertone. We can't trust the official stuff. What we're being told can't be believed. So therefore, you got to start tanning your balls, bro. And the next guest afterwards was Kid Rock, the right wing musician. And he even Kid Rock was like, is this all a joke? That's when you know it's weird when even Kid Rock can't take it seriously. Rock, ladies and gentlemen, so, so our dude, our cameraman, dude, I, I think Tom Fox is in your house right now. He is. Dude, stop. Testicle tanning. Come on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, I haven't heard anything open, that good open in a your, long time. Open I'm your starting, mind, Bobby. I'm, I'm, I'm starting a punk rock band and it's called testicle tanning. That's the end of it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think you'll be massively successful. But I mean, don't you think at this point, when so many of the therapies, the paths they've told us to take have turned out to be dead ends that have really hurt people? Why is Kid Rock being interviewed about this? Like Kid Rock doesn't know anything about media literacy. Kid Rock doesn't know anything about medicine. It's a crazy premise to bring on Kid Rock to comment on testicle tanning fitness pro. Why wouldn't open minded people seek new solutions? I, I don't know what the hell is going on in this world. I'm not even sure if I understood that question, but <laughs> some days I just want to stop. Exactly. No, he didn't. Kid Rock doesn't even understand the question that Tucker Carlson is asking him. Now, let's interject some reality here. A good question is, are the premises even true? Are testosterone levels decreasing? Now, the answer is yes, but it's not exactly clear why or what it means. So there's been a bunch of studies done over several decades, and it does appear as though testosterone levels are decreasing in men at a given age. Like we know about over time in for an individual as one ages, testosterone levels decrease. But there is something different going on, which is men of a particular age today seem to have slightly lower testosterone levels than men of the same age at some period in the past. So it appears to be decreasing. Then the question is why? And the cause is not actually known, but there's a bunch of different ideas. One aspect of this could be external toxins and something environmental. We know that there's lots of products out there that have uh, endocrine disruption potential, and we know certain things can affect female fertility. So there could be things in the environment that affect men's testosterone levels. That, that's one possibility. Another piece appears to be untreated depression. We, we have pretty good data that untreated depression pushes down testosterone levels. We have both stigma around mental health treatment in the United States, as well as lack of access to mental health treatment in the United States. You don't treat depression. If depression decreases, decreases testosterone, you would expect to see decreased testosterone. Obesity is very high in the United States and moderate obesity seems to diminish testosterone due to what's called insulin resistance associated reductions in the sex hormone binding globulin. OK, so that that may be obesity may be a factor here. Men with diabetes are more likely to have low testosterone. It's not clear whether it's a cause effect correlation causation. So there is an issue and it's being explored by medical doctors, a decrease in testosterone. But Tucker's friends, Kid Rock and a fitness professional aren't going to be the ones to solve it. They're also not the authorities on this. And the maybe the most important thing is they frame this as a cultural issue of sissy men. Like when the right talks about the end of men and decreased testosterone, they're talking about sissy men, men that don't meet the prototypical emblematic image of what a manly man is supposed to be. What's particularly funny is Tucker doesn't meet that standard either. Right. I mean, like, like I, I don't care about these uh, standards and the, these ideas. But Tucker, as the privileged sort of, you know, I think dandy might be the word that's that's applied bow tie wearing. I mean, he had, you know, tasseled in that interview. He had tasseled. You, you can even kind of see it tasseled loafers with no socks like he he's not the guy that meets neither is Trump. Right. And that, so that's what's also very strange about this. Now, just as a bonus clip, here's a preview of another upcoming Tucker Carlson special where he brings on two butchers to talk about the idea that extraterrestrials are mutilating cattle. This is the next special. You have to have the right tools. So and you have to have the right knife with the right edge on it, because mm -hmm. if you don't have a sharp knife, you're never going to be able to achieve. You know, you, you might be able to achieve it, but it, but it's going to look like you didn't know what you were doing. So right. if these animals have been found with their, you know, these pieces surgically removed, and you know, not making a lot of hack marks when you're cutting, somebody knows what they're doing. Right. So that Absolutely. that's it. So assess the difficulty here. So we've heard, well, it must be some satanic <laughs> cult that has been operating, I guess, for centuries in countries around the world. But whoever's doing this knows a lot about the anatomy of these animals and has high skill. Is that correct? Yes, and frankly, butchers with a skill level like ours are becoming less and less frequent in the <laughs> United States. So even finding a butcher that, that God, this is so stupid. So that's the next special. The bearded butcher twins or brothers will explain to you how 
there are cuts being made to cattle that suggest maybe extraterrestrial origin. Fox News, Tucker Carlson specials, specials which are now airing. One of our longtime sponsors is Vincero Collective. If you don't know Vincero yet, it's the place to go for quality watches, sunglasses, and more. Serious style, undeniable quality, and total versatility put Vincero really at the top of the game. And their newest watch release is no exception. It's the Argo Automatic. It spotlights everything I love about Vincero. I got the Argo Automatic in frost white. This is a dive watch, which is, of course, a staple in the watch world. But I really think Vincero found a way to make this one stand out. I love the gradient blue accent of the hour markers against the solid white face. I really love all of their watches and I own a bunch, but the Argo is probably my favorite so far. Vincero sunglasses and jewelry and other accessories are awesome, too. An excellent way to elevate any outfit. Vincero Collective is giving my audience 15 percent off all products and free shipping. Go to Vincero Collective dot com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman. The link is down below.